Hi, I'm Matt Norberg. I'm a hydrologist with Montana DNRC in the Water Resources Division. And today we're out at the East Gallatin River near Manhattan, Montana. And we're going to be taking a look at one of Montana DNRC's real-time stream gauges on the East Gallatin River. So here's a closer look at the East Gallatin stream gauge that I was talking about earlier. Uh, this gauge was installed in April of 2016 and it provides real-time stream flow information which really helps support local water management, recreational uses, fisheries management, and improves understanding of irrigation return flows and tributary contri contributions to the Gallatin River watershed in general. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is incorporated inside this box. As we open up the box, we can see some different components, different pieces of electrical equipment. First off, we have a 12 volt battery, and this is pow powered by the solar panel, and it just helps keep all of our electronic equipment running. Next, we have our gas pressure bubbler here, and this is what is really measuring this, the stream stage or the water height of our, ga of, our, of our river here. And then we also have what's called a sat link here. So this sat link actually takes all the information that this bubbler unit um, collects and pushes it out to a satellite every hour and then we collect the data back in Helena and we post uh, the stream, stream values and the discharge data on the internet. So this gas pressure bubbler right here, this is the nuts and bolts of our stream gauge right here. This is what collects the actual stream stage data that we're looking at. And what it is, is there is a, the, inside here there's a pressure tank and it pressurizes this black line right here. And this black line is trenched underground and it's secured to the bottom of the substrate of the stream. And what happens then is air is pushed through this line. It's kind of like a straw. Imagine pushing air through a straw. And so as the water level comes up, it takes more pressure to push that air through that straw. Uh, obviously, the, the less water, the lower pressure. This thing collects all the pressure information and, and converts, it, converts it into um, a stage, an elevation. And then we all in this box, uh, this is a wire for a water temperature sensor. It's installed next to our bubbler unit and it collects uh, valuable water temperature data. What we're looking at here is our reference gauge for our East Gallatin site and specifically this is called a cantilevered staff gauge. As you can see we have these, they look like rulers basically, they're called staff gauges and we have these on a cantilevered uh, leg and so what we do is we have on this on this wire right here we have an indicator and then we have a weight at the end of our of our line and as we drop this this weight down we will hit the water surface with that weight and then we'll mark with our indicator where the level lies on the staff gauge I'll demonstrate And just as that weight touches the water surface, we record the stage. So we're looking at right now 3.04 to 3.05 of water height for this particular site. Here we get a better look of our satellite antenna. It's this funny looking antenna. It's actually called a Yagi antenna. And then just above that is our GPS antenna. And then this, the solar panel, and this actually converts sunlight into electrical energy that we can use to keep our battery powered so we can uh, use our electronic equipment all day, all night, 365 days a year. While the real-time stream gauges provide round-the-clock electronic river measurements, the river channels need to be periodically measured to ensure accuracy. Riverbeds may change dramatically after lower high water or because of ongoing erosion and deposits, making the stream gauge data inaccurate. Real-time stream gauge takes skilled people to keep it running correctly. Gauges are not automated to the extent that they can run on their own without periodic checks. These gauges run smoothly and uninterrupted from day to day because they are being watched and tended by professionals who use science and long-term knowledge of the river. This is Brent Zundel. He's a DNRC hydrologist out of our Bozeman field office. And he is out here taking a discharge measurement at our East Gallatin site. Uh, we periodically Throughout the course of the season, we take these discharge measurements and they help us verify the information that we put out to the public. We use these in our rating curves. So I'm, I'm just finishing up some notes here um, of field data that we collected. I'll take this back to the office and we'll analyze the data and we'll post it on the internet. Um, 
Really appreciate you guys taking a, a chance to look at this video and I hope that you gained a little more understanding of the DNRC statewide stream gauge program and the eSkeleton real-time stream gauge site itself. Thanks, have a great day.